You're selling your soul, begging for sales, working two, three, four, five jobs. You've got 10 income streams, all to just try to make it. And this just doesn't work. So first let's understand the problem and then I'll actually give you solutions so we can actually start winning. The more you chase, the less you get. For example, here on YouTube, I was trying super hard to win in the tight beat community. I posted like a hundred tight beats and that just never worked out. And I tried really hard posting covers, posted about a hundred covers, that didn't work out. But as soon as I started just relaxing, stopped worrying about results, those videos did 10 times better as opposed to when I was chasing views and chasing success. And it's the same in whatever you want to do, whether you have a music career, a business, or just generally want to win at life. But exactly why is this the case? So the first example is going to be working multiple jobs or just grinding super hard in your career. Now, if you followed me for any bit of time, you've already seen, I definitely bought into a lot of the hustle culture doing whatever it takes to win. But unfortunately, having 10 income streams and three jobs just isn't the way to do it. And I learned from experience. And this is an example of something that logically you can understand, but when you're chasing and you're emotional, you lose sight of how to actually succeed. So just by pure logic, if you have 10 income streams and you have 100% of your energy, you're only giving 10% into each income stream. Same if you have two jobs and you're also trying to do a business, but that's what you're putting all your time into. Think about how hard it is to actually get what you really want. Next is desperation destroys respect. Imagine if I was sitting here begging you to subscribe, begging you to watch my videos, begging you to comment. Or same thing with my clothing brand. Imagine if I was just begging people to buy my stuff. It just doesn't work. People either like it or they don't. And even if they do like it, subconsciously it makes you realize maybe there's something off about that or they don't have a lot of success already. A lot of it comes down to the internal things. I have a simple rule that someone told me a long time ago. That's simply never run for anybody. What does that mean? If you ever seen the people running to class or maybe they're like two minutes late and they start running to try to make it, uh, it's just not good, bro. It's just not good. So for example, when I was a mechanical engineering major, there's something called a chemistry lab. It's essentially you had to wear a specific white coat. Essentially someone was one second late, one second, and the teacher locked him out. And he had ran across campus in 80 degree weather. He had done all that just to be one second late. And if, even if he did make it, think about how sad that is. Just for a chemistry class, you're willing to run across campus, be sweaty, all just to get a grade. It's just a bad mindset. It's not gonna work out if you have that mind mindset in anything. Ultimately, what I'm saying is you become a slave. You become a slave to that grade, to that, to making money, to whatever it is. When in reality, what it really takes to be successful is just doing the work consistently of whatever you're trying to get to. Another example is the gym. Let's say you're going super hard in the gym, seven days a week. The problem with that is in the gym, you're actually just breaking down your muscles. Rest days are when you're really actually building muscle. But if you're chasing muscle, if you're chasing actually having a nice physique, then you're just gonna work out seven times a week and you're never actually gonna grow muscle. That's the physical version of this. And eventually you're just gonna burn out, quit the gym, because you're gonna be tired and sore all the time. And because you're chasing muscle, you don't even realize, hey, my diet is actually super important and sleep is actually super important. So really it's all about the mind. It's really all about the mind and how this mentality affects your actions. So now we know the problem. We know the more you chase, the less you get. But how do we actually solve this? Biggest thing is to take a step back. When you pause for a second, you can actually see everything that you need to do and you can create a game plan to actually succeed. Posted about 250 videos, as well as hundreds of videos on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook Reels. And over all that time, and maybe I got like 500 subscribers over two years, which is when I just let go, took a step back, kind of analyzed, so super deep into titles, thumbnails, all that kind of stuff. And how does this apply to your career and your actual success? Well, number one, value is perception. So if you're chasing and you perceive yourself as less valuable, a lot of times you'll come across that way and you'll create things that are less valuable as well. And perceive value isn't always wrong. Let's say someone offers a course for $50, your perception of that course is that it's not gonna, it might be helpful, but it's not super extensive. Whereas a $500 course, even as the creator, you know, to have a $500 course, you're gonna have to put a lot of effort into it. It's gonna actually have to have a transformational effect. And as the creator, how you perceive yourself will affect the quality of the course. So if I'm just chasing money and chasing views, I might sell a $10 course because it gets more sales, but it doesn't actually have a transformational effect and it doesn't really have that much value. Whereas if I step back and really invest in a course, invest in actually taking time, making the course content, making the outline, making sure and testing it with my coaching clients, make sure it actually gets results. Because I'm not chasing success anymore, I'm also not gonna make a $10 course that has no value. I'm gonna make a course that's actually worth $500 and actually helps people in their career and in their music production. So number two is success is gained and consistency over time. So when we're chasing, we just want quick, quick success. So a lot of times when you want quick success, you do things that aren't great long-term. You might sell a crappy beat for $30, 
I get into some not so legal activities, all just for quick money. Or you might chase a minimum wage jobs that have no promotional opportunities, just so you can make a quick buck as well. Whereas if you just start from the very beginning, build one business with one really great product, and then two years from now, two years after you start, you're gonna be in a much better place than the person that just made a quick buck. And again, I'm speaking from experience. This whole YouTube channel is just about learning from my mistakes so you don't have to make them as well. So instead of 10 income streams, just based on what's trending, affiliate marketing, etc. Because you're not chasing, you can say, you know what, I like fashion, so I'm gonna have some apparel. Or you might say, hey, I actually wanna help people, so you make an actually valuable course. When you're not chasing, you actually make valuable things. Boom. The next thing not chasing does is forces you to be honest and face yourself. When you stop just chasing money or whatever you're chasing, then suddenly you start to fix some of the problems that have been holding you back from those things. Maybe you have a limiting belief about money. Maybe you feel like, oh, only 1% of musicians succeed, which isn't true, obviously. But if you just keep chasing after and chasing after it, you never take a break and actually face those limiting beliefs and problems. So of course, I'm not saying don't grind, don't keep trying to actually win. Instead of thinking of it as, I need to go get success, I'm just here. So the biggest thing is focus on what you can control. When you're chasing, a lot of times you're focused on what you don't control. You're thinking, I need to get this way outside of myself. When you stop that, you can just approve what you can. Whatever happens, happens. Then opportunities you didn't even think about will start to come to you. But let's say you're chasing this thing over here. You might not even see these opportunities. Instead of trying to win over there and chase success, become successful yourself and that will come. Let me know what you think of this editing style. It wasn't retention editing. Retention editing is where I cut like every 1.5 seconds. If you look back at my old videos, you'll notice I actually do that. There's either B-roll, graphics, sound effects, background music, blah, blah, blah. But I wanna transition into bringing more valuable videos for you guys. And also just improving my communication skills as well. Even if this gets less views, Hopefully it was more valuable for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you want to see my plan for 2024 and the progress I've made so far, you can watch this video next and I'll see you there.